Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my March empties video. This one's gonna be a little bit shorter, I feel like, than last than last month. I feel like I don't have that much in here and part of it is shame on me. I feel like I wasn't doing as much self-care as I should have this month. I don't feel like I have that many face masks or sheet masks to share with you guys. I do have a bit of makeup, which you guys know I save my makeup empties for my monthly makeup rehab series and I talked to you guys about all of the makeup that I used up in the month of March in those videos, which that video will be going up after this, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys are interested in seeing the products that I used up in the month of March, then stay tuned. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider doing so before you go. I post videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and without further ado, let's get into the products I used up. Okay, so first I wanna start with just a couple randoms. I like to share, like when I use up a pre-workout or like a supplement that I'm using, I like to share that in case you guys are like fitness gurus too and like to know just a little bit about, I don't know, fitness products. <laughs> um, but this I really, really enjoyed. This was the PES Science High Volume Supreme Nitric Oxide Matrix in this, in this scent, <laughs> in the flavor paradise cooler now i do prefer the cotton candy one to paradise cooler and normally i just order it off amazon if i can link it below i will i really like the pes science high volume for a good pre-workout i find that it makes a huge difference i think this is this is the one that is caffeine free they do also offer one with caffeine i like both of them caffeine doesn't really bother me either way so um this one really helps give you like a bigger pump um, whereas the other one that I think has the caffeine just kind of gives you like that boost. Uh, again, I like both. This flavor was okay. Again, not my favorite. I prefer the cotton candy, but I just wanted to mention that I do really enjoy the high volume, the high volume and PES science has always been a brand that I've loved pretty much every product that I've ever tried from them. So if you guys are interested in looking for a good supplement brand for fitness related goals, protein, pre-workout, BCAAs, they also have some really good BCAA products. Um, I've really been enjoying them. And then this is my favorite of all time, favorite hand soap. This is the Raw Sugar Natural Hand Wash. I have mine in raw coconut and mango. I also really like the lemon sugar one. Usually I have the raw mango in my bathroom and then I have the other one, the lemon sugar in my kitchen. Um, and I just love this. And for this brand, they donate, for every product you buy, they donate a bar of raw sugar soap to a family in need, which I think is really cool. Usually I pay $4.99 for each bottle um, but it lasts me a really long time I will link this down below I picked mine up at Target I really just love this brand in total right now I'm using one of their raw sugar scrubs which I also really love um, I just have really enjoyed the raw sugar brand in general so finish off that soap okay I finally finished off this Dermalogica special cleansing gel this was okay I just have other cleansers that I prefer over this but if you are looking for a cleanser that's going to last forever, I would definitely recommend this. It's definitely more gentle. So if you have sensitive skin, this would probably be a great option for you. I never find that my skin felt stripped after using this. Um, but for some reason, I thought this was going to be more of like a dual cleanse sort of product, product. And this would be like a first step. But this actually was more of like a true cleanser. And I didn't want to be wasteful and like cleanse and then cleanse again. So I did end up using this as a cleanser. But um, yeah, there's just other ones I prefer over this, so I probably will not repurchase this, but it still was a good product. Couple of skincare items. First, I have this Ula Henriksen Goodnight Glow Retin Alt Sleeping Cream. I loved this, and I'm definitely picking this up during the next Sephora VIP sale. I just had a little deluxe sample size. It smells like lavender, which I love around bedtime. It just like makes my heart happy, so... I thoroughly enjoyed this. I noticed a huge difference in the texture of my skin. It did not break me out by any means. It just made my skin feel super plump and super soft every morning that I woke up. So I really love this and I'm definitely buying a full size when it goes on sale. And then I also had the Ula Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I really did enjoy. I'm not a huge fan of eye creams. Like I just don't necessarily believe that they're at 100% necessary. But if there was a Ula Henriksen set again where you got like this with one of the full size truth serums which I believe is how I bought mine the last time I wouldn't be mad about using this again I do feel like it helps to brighten underneath the eyes in the morning um, but it's not something that I feel the need to just go run out and buy a full size in so a good product just not one that for me 
fits into like my everyday makeup needs. I also finished off this Skin & Co Blue & Capri Shower Gel. This I did not really enjoy. I got this in a FabFitFun box and I just felt like it didn't suds up like I normally like my soaps to and I didn't love the scent of it so I just basically like used it up to get rid of it but definitely wouldn't recommend and will not be repurchasing. Okay, a couple more skincare products. First I have this Lancome uh, glow boosting liquid care. This is just a little sample size and when I squirted this onto my hand it smelled so disgusting so I think it just went bad. So this is basically just a declutter. And then I also have the Caudalie Vinyl Source Creme Sorbet Moisturizing Sorbet. Not a huge fan of this. Um, used up this deluxe size sample but definitely wouldn't recommend or repurchase. I also used up this 111 Skin Cryo Activize activating hydrogel this was fine again not something that i would go out and repurchase um, but a nice hydrating gel i usually just like to use up all my samples like have them in my vanity behind me in case i forget to moisturize in the morning then i go ahead and just use one of these little samples i also finished off this little mini of the glam glow super mud clearing treatment i've owned this in the full size and i really do like this mask this is probably one of the only masks from glam glow that i would consider repurchasing at this point i just think glam glow is so overpriced but i do notice like noticeable differences when i use this mask so i do enjoy this um we'll see if i repurchase it i don't feel the need to go out and buy one right now um but i could see myself purchasing in the future and then I also finished off the Ula Henriksen Truth Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This is more of just like a moisturizer and I really did enjoy this. I think this is a really nice one, especially as we enter like the spring summertime when you're looking for a lighter moisturizer. I loved the way that this smelled. I love the way that it just made my skin feel a little extra glowy and it was super hydrating, but it dried down really quickly. So or it absorbed really quickly so it wasn't too emollient or anything like that and I really did enjoy this. This is definitely one that I would consider purchasing um, a full size in especially as we enter the summer months. I really like the Clinique Moisture Surge for the summertime and then I just like lighter weight gel sort of moisturizers in the summer whereas in the winter I like the thicker more hydrating more emollient sort of um, moisturizers like the truth aqua bomb the truth moisturizing bomb um and then there's one from dr dart too that i have in my nightstand that i just love for the winter time but we're getting closer to the summertime so i'm looking for a lighter weight more gel like formula for my moisturizers and this is definitely one that i am considering purchasing i went through one of the neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes i really like these these are probably my favorite cleansing towelettes not that they not that I use them all over my face but I like them for removing swatches actually I also finished off the patchology clean AF wipes and these are my favorite for removing makeup from the face I find these actually like suds up a little bit and these do a really nice job of actually removing makeup from the face so I would travel with these um, but these I more so just use for removing swatches occasionally if I can't get my eye makeup off I use these to remove eye makeup and I don't find that it makes my eyes sting too bad um, so these two I finished up this month and they are both my favorites and probably the only ones that I'll consider repurchasing in the future I really want to try the lavender night scented ones in the Neutrogena. I just haven't purchased them yet, but I do intend to pick them up after I finish my last pack of Neutrogena wipes. A couple of declutters. First, I have this Smashbox. I think this is a liquid lipstick. I don't know the shade in it. It's a deluxe sample. Um, love the color on this, but this has gone bad. So I'm just getting rid of it because it does not work anymore. It gets super chunky and disgusting on the lips. Uh, but I do really enjoy the Smashbox liquid lip liquid lipstick formula in general. Unfortunately, that one just went bad. And then I have the Ulta Beauty tinted eye primer in satin blush. And I just really did not enjoy this. Like I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be more like a liquid shadow or if this was actually supposed to be an eye primer, but I found that it just like pilled up a little bit and then I just I just didn't like this so I am going to be decluttering these I did finish off this tester of the Tarte creases concealer and this surprised me I didn't think that I was going to like this but I really did and this is one that if I can get through a couple concealers this year I would consider purchasing in the future I found it to be pretty hydrating underneath the eyes which I personally appreciate so 
yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. Two little samples of primers I finished up. First was the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer. I didn't like this. I felt like it was too thick and it just wasn't a primer that I enjoyed. And the second one was the Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Hydrating Primer. I have had a full size of this in the past and I just didn't love it. I didn't feel like it was overly hydrating and I didn't feel like it was a great primer. So I don't think it's I don't think it warrants the price tag. Now I do like the darker one, like the smoothing one. Um, and I want to purchase that in a mini so I can try that one again. It's been a while since I've tried it. Um, but for me, the hydrating one just is a no-go. I also finished off this little deluxe size sample of the San Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Mousse. I liked this. Um, I felt like I went through this really, really quickly. I liked the color that it gave to my skin. And I felt like it was easy to work with. This says natural glowing skin. I do feel like it was a more natural, more subtle sort of tan. So if you're looking for a super intense, super dark tan, you're not going to get that from this. But if you're looking for just like glowy skin, I would recommend. This is something that I will consider picking up again this summer if I'm just trying to like enhance my tan, you know, you feel me? Um, I really did enjoy this product. I thought it was good. I finished off these glow drops from Lux Light. These were fine. I just don't really love liquid highlights. So happy to get that out of my collection. And then I have the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion. I have tried many of these throughout the years. I feel like they always show up in subscription boxes. They are not my favorite. I feel like it's a super micro exfoliant, but I I feel like it's a super micro exfoliant, but I feel like it's super harsh on the skin. So I don't love it. Um, and yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And then as far as sheet masks are concerned, I only went through three. I went through this Spa Life one, Sugar and Rose Hip, Hy Rose Hip Hydrating. Didn't love this. I also went through this Bubble Mask one from Annie's Way. I did like this. And then finally, I tried one of the Pixie Collagen Boost Mask, which was okay. Not a favorite, but I didn't hate it. It was just okay. So probably wouldn't repurchase. I would just go with my all-time favorite Too Cool for School Egg Cream Mask Hydrating. I mean, come on. Love it. But I didn't use any of those this month. So only three sheet masks this month. I'm disappointed in myself. But after that, you guys, we just have almonds at the end of my uh, trash bin because my daughter threw them in there. So we're all done. We are, again, empty trash can. Um, so so yeah, those are my empties for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know what products you used up this month. Again, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you go, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.